We are live. What's up, everybody? Hope all is well. Welcome to the live. Happy Tuesday. Let's jump right into it. Beginner versus expert trader. I have everything already linked up to the board, but we're going to go deep into it. For those of you that just want all the information, grab it and go. There it is right there. Hasta luego. For the rest of you, we're going to jump into it. For those of you watching on Twitch, we are streaming right now on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube is the place you want to be. Engage in the comment box. I see all of you. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome. For those of you watching on IG, you are not going to be able to see the, see the chart. Please don't bother with the comments saying we can't see the chart. I'm letting you know right now. Pay attention. And I might have to say it multiple times because some of you are just watchers. You don't pay attention. But you won't be able to see the chart breaking down right here. And I know you can. That's done purposely. So you can have some common sense and jump over to the YouTube. So get that out of the way. But another thing, daytradeprofessor.com, free trading course. As I go into today's psych psychology live, I want you to understand that the course is free. You don't have to pay me a cent. Just leave a comment. If you learned something, that's all I would ask you to do is leave a comment down below. The book, if you need, daytradeprofessor.com as well. And the mentorship for New York, you already know. Let's jump into it. Expert versus beginner trader. What are the differences between the two? We're going to go into it so you can gauge what you are ultimately. A lot of the mistakes that you make is a full blown. We're not going into my book today. I don't want to go into it. I want it to be a summary of a lesson. But there is a chapter filled with all the mistakes that you will make. Or, or if you're wise enough, see the mistakes that I talked about in the chapter and not do those mistakes. So that's what it is. For those of you watching that have never traded before, flood the chat. This live is really for those of you that have never traded before or have just started trading and don't really know what's going on. This will help you guide yourself so you don't get lost in the fold of things. Because at the end of the day, go come with me, as my, be my student or not, at least get something out of this so you can grow and become a professional level trader, which we're going to talk about. So we're going to knock out a few things today. We're going to go through one by one and I'm going to check off each and every single one of them. So let's talk about them, right? So beginner trader, we're going to talk about the first one right now, which is use of high leverage, risking their full capital all in one trade. So how many of you have, do, have done that? Where you are basically, let me see if I can lean on this chair. Can I lean on this chair? No, it's too low. But I want my emblem right here, even though it's everywhere. I just want to have it, but no, nah, it's cool. Point being, how many of you have done that where you are taking your entire account into one trade and seeing it go to zero? Being in panic mode when knowing that's not what you're supposed to do and you know you're not supposed to do that. Putting your entire account into one trade and blowing it all and losing it all. But not even that factor. The factor of the, the fear of hitting sell. The reason why you can't hit sell your fear of hitting sell is because of multiple reasons. When one, if you're in the loss, the loss is too big because you put too much in, you're like, oh my God. That's one of them. The other part of hitting sell is you're up so much, you're like a little bit more, a little bit more until it falls back down and your little bit more becomes negative less. So that's the factor you want to keep your eye on. So let's keep going. An expert level trader maintains proper risk, knows what's worth using leverage. Listen to me. I know you real estate folks use the bank's money to execute on the things you execute on. I get that. Us traders also get that. We get the leverage to use it. I'm not saying not to use it, but there's a time and place to use leverage when need be. If you know the setup, which I'm going to stress that a lot today on the setup. If you know your setup, guess what? Use it if need be. Use the bank's money to make even more money. And you close that trade out within that one hour scalp, whatever the case may be, and you close on that. And then you make more money by using the bank's money. Who says that's not amazing? That's not a God-given gift given to you. Trade Zero, that's the broker I use. You could just click in the description below. Again, for those watching on IG, jump on to the YouTube. I'm sure my team is down there watching. My team is handling the accounts going, these people don't listen. Team, it's okay. I know they don't listen. We can just block them later. So that's the thing you need to understand. Stop putting everything into one trade. So that's what a beginner trader does. 
and expert level remain, maintains proper risk. What I tell my students is start off with one share, five shares, 10 shares, increments of five, 15 shares, and slowly learn the process. Because before you can get onto this side, you gotta slowly get there, it's not about the money. For those of you that do options, you stick to singular contracts. One contract, two contract, three contracts, and that helps immensely, especially on your, as you can see, psychology. Keep that in mind. So let's keep going. Number two, no, a beginner trader has zero control over his emotions. Zero, all over the place, don't know what's going on. Expert trader accepts the loss, learns from them. Oh my God, I'm in the red. For you options people, and you can flood the chat in the, in the comment box on YouTube. You take a trade, and the second some of you have told me, I've never done options, but I've been told stories, that the second you get in, it's if depending on how it is, you start seeing negative, because you know, depending if it's zero DTE, what's your expiration, all that stuff, the volatility, you immediately start seeing a negative, and you're going, whoa, what just happened? And now you're going, uh-oh, let me add to this losing position, and you start adding into that position, and it gets more red, and more red, and more red, and you went, what just happened? An expert level understands that if it hits their level, sorry, hits their stop loss, that's a wrap. They gotta call it quits. They can come back in later if need be, but they then you gotta call it quits. That's what an expert level does, learns from them. You learn from the fact that, guess what? If your setup is good, your strategy is good, sometimes it goes against you, it happens. Sometimes Powell gets on and says some crazy things. Sometimes it's a short squeeze. Things happen that are completely out of your control. And once you learn that there's things out of your control, then you start saying, I'll accept that that happened as long as your winners are bigger than your losers. Keep that in mind. Understood? Now the third one. Beginner traders flock to signal chats. Rent and take random trades. And I'll be the first one to tell you, as so, I'll give you the behind the scenes, the amount of DMs my team gets. Do you have a signal chat? You have a signal chat? You have a signal? You, give, you sell signals? It is a never ending barrage for them. This is why I don't manage the DMs. I don't want to look at them. Unless it's a mentorship, someone signs up for the mentorship, then I, the team messages me and I send a, me, a voice note appreciating them get, being a mentorship student and give them access to the secret Instagram. Signal chats, I, am tell, I don't sell signal chats. Uh, the, I own only two things that I sell. It's my book, How to Be a Consistent Trader, which covers every single thing, psychology, technical, stocks, crypto, forex, and then my classes in New York, that's it. I don't do signals. I know the amount of money I can make in signal chats. I get it. One day, one day, and I brought this up. This is one of an idea I have when I have the time, and I'll probably do like a pilot for like a month. This is how it'll work, and you guys can flood the chat and let me know what you think. I don't know if this exists, but it'll be my closest students. It'll be um, one month, and I'll and it'll be a thousand bucks a month for mentorship. If you're non mentorships, you'll pay more, and then if you don't make a minimum of ten k, I give you your one thousand back. If you don't make a minimum of ten thousand dollars. I'll give you your thousand back, no questions asked, there you go. That's an idea I had in the future because I'm like, I trade, why not screen share, but I'm, my trades are like 15, 30 minutes and I'm done. And majority of people that get into this game, this song, let's go, more time, no, no, that's not what I do. The amount of money I make, it's not me sitting there all day, I got a million things to do throughout the day. I'm not sitting there, literally 15, 30, 45 minutes and I can make month, half a month's person salary. So, signal chats, Sending you random watch lists every day, having you run around all over the place. This is what newbies flock to. They flock to these signal chats. Stay away from them. I know you're watching, seeing, but my mentor, bro, here's the thing. So let me give you the flip side. Go into them. There's so many of them out there. I think almost, I think maybe thousands of signal chats out there. Go into them. They're not much. Pay for it. See how it is. And if it doesn't work for you, just don't pay it at the end of the month. Uh, do deactivate or whatever they call it. Problem solved. So it's not that I'm going against you. I'm just telling you I was in one. I was forced to join one. I hated it. It was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Stupidest. 
Next one, independent, same level. Expert traders, they're independent traders. They know his or her setup, their A plus setup. They know what they're looking for. They know what, if they see a stock, they know when to execute. They don't have to wait for another man or woman to say, I'm getting in, get in now. To me, that's insane. That's a job. That is a full-fledged job to be an active trader. Sitting there, buying and entering, you need to know when to get out, when to get in. Things shift. Those watch lists don't always work that they give you. You have to figure it out. And that's literally what I do. That's literally what I do. That's the only thing I truly believe in is this. Creating independent traders. Again, if you're watching this on IG, you will not see the board properly. Yes, I know it's cut off. You have, I'm being nice. I've been praying to God to be nice. People are like, you've been nice lately because I've been praying. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop myself. I was about to go off because I know right now there's people on IG saying we can't see it. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I promise I'll be much nicer. I've been asking God, can I go back to my old ways? Let me be. See, see, there you go. I'm good. I'm not going off on anybody. I'm being nice. Jump onto the YouTube. You'll see a better 4K. But you want to be independent because you want to be able to make your own paycheck and not rely on someone. Eventually, these people and their signal group chats will end. There, it's not a matter of when. It's it's not. I'm sorry. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Don't wait for them to shut it down. Learn it and then be on your way. I'm telling you, this is the ultimate luxury in life of knowing. That's why my mentorship, I literally show you to the T how I do it. To the T, the levels that everyone loves, they see me do, spend a full Sunday on it. And then I take you out for dinner. Monday, we live trade and it executes live in front of your face. Those are the regular mentorships. We're talking Puerto Rico, we live trade every day. If you're talking about the summer ones throughout the planet, one we're doing in Thailand this year. Uh, I think I have four seats July. August is sold out. And then live trading in December in New York, only for mentorship where we live trade throughout New York time. Everyone knows the setup. You don't need me to be there. Keep that in mind. This is the old, if there was a book, a trading book, if I didn't name this, how to be a consistent trader would be becoming, how to be an independent trader. Someone can steal that if they want, but how to be an independent trader would have been the next title of the book. Let's keep going. A beginner level trader jumps from setup to set up. He sees one thing, he goes to the next thing. He goes to one thing, he goes to the next thing. And then he wonders why nothing works. I have one A plus setup. One, shorting these garbage penny stocks. That's literally what we do, live trading Puerto Rico, live trading Thailand, live trading Christmas in New York with me. That's it. I have one setup. And that setup is how I play and how I make my money. If that setup is not there, I'm not taking it. For those asking what it is, folks, read the book. Stop being lazy. You Google generation instant gratification people. See, that wasn't nice. I stopped my. I, I didn't stop myself. I said the whole thing. Sometimes you need the wake-up call. But I became too aggressive. Some of you do need to be shaken and woken up to your degenerate ways of just doing stupidity on the charts. You just need someone to tell you the truth. When everyone is lying to you, a lot of you believe lies to be the truth, but the person telling you the truth you think is a lie. And this is why society is going down a cliff, but that's a different conversation for a different day. By the way, come on guys, get the likes up. YouTube, YouTube, get the likes up. Instagram, stop getting, get off the Instagram. I don't even know why anybody's watching the Instagram right now. Jump onto the YouTube so you can see the charts better. The, sorry, the, this better. So jumps from setup to setup. An expert level trader, knows exactly what to look for. You know what your setup is. No if, ands, or buts about it. Last week, I dropped the level videos, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday was Bitcoin, so that was like a swing trade, but Monday to Thursday were scalp trades, right? You know exactly what to look for. When you see me make those level videos, you guys didn't engage enough, and those level videos are gone now. You do it to yourself. People beg for them when they're gone, but when I do them, barely any engagement on them, so... Point being, you know what to look for. You know how you, what multi-time frames you need to be on. You know what your levels need to be on. You need to know what the candles look like. What kind of candlesticks are you looking for if you're going long, if you're going short? Oh, professor said this. You know what to look for 
separates, again, a beginner to an expert. Let's keep going. No trading journal. By the way, daytradeprofessor.com, I have a free trading journal. You can download it, print it out. It's free. It's fully free. You can save it to your Google, uh, G Drive, your Google Drive, and then you can edit it and play with it right there. Also, by the way, I, I think I've said this. I've said this. I don't remember, but maybe I, I think I may. See, the thing is, when you have a secret Instagram and then you have a regular Instagram, I say things on this. I don't know if I've said publicly. So maybe I've said it publicly. I don't know. Because I know I say things on the secret Instagram. For 2025, I'm, for those that are going to sign up for the mentorships in 2025, once you sign up, you'll get a swag bag. Every single new mentorship of 2025, January and on, will get a free swag bag, which will have, what will it's going to have? It has a whole bunch of stuff. I already dropped that stuff in the secret Instagram. It's in the highlights. For those of you in the secret Instagram, look for the highlight swag bag. And for those of you that are past, you can pay for it and get the swag bag. But one of the things I'm going to put in the swag bag that I'm, I haven't started working on, I'll work on it when I'm in Thailand, is a custom physical trading journal. It'll have exactly 252 pages to illustrate 252 trading days. Yes, you don't have to take all 252 trades. <gasps> Excuse me. But that's for the year. That's for the year. So that's what I'm going to give out. I'm going to make it custom myself. Just like I made the, wrote the book, I'm, gonna, I'm working on the second book. I'm not working on it. I haven't started yet. But my second book is going to be Just Hit Sell. That I'm going to write when I'm in Thailand. It'll not be anything charting related. It'll be straight read on psychology. On, and I think that's the only thing that separates me from you. I just hit sell. No matter what happens, I hit sell. I don't go into fantasy world. I don't go into delusions. I'm not a degenerate. I just hit sell and I'm going to write that. But I'm also then going to work on the trading journal with my team to create the perfect physical trading journal. But that will be in the swag bag 2025 with a whole bunch of stuff in there. So point being, you must journal. I know you don't want to. I know you think it's dumb. I get it. But you need to understand what you did right, what you did wrong. And the reason why, yes, I have a digital one, but I'm, I'm in favor of a physical one. Again, the digital one is free. All the information is right here, daytradeprofessor.com. Please, use some common sense. You, drive, you got some of you driving my team crazy in the DMs. Where's this book? How do you get the book? Where's this free trading journal? How do you sign up for them? It's, it's literally moving at the bottom of the thing, but human beings. Trading journal. And the expert level uses a trading journal. So let me break that down, right? What goes in the trading journal? Again, everything is in the, I'm not going into that because it's already available, daytradeprofessor.com, the free trading journal. It breaks down all of it. It's really for you. When you write things down, your brain remembers it better than when you are typing it in. This is why a lot of people don't remember much. This is my theory. You use a different part of your brain. You can study this. You use a different part of your brain when you're on the computer, typing things, using the software. But when you're physically journaling, you remember it better. You're using a different part of your brain. You remember it better, like the old school teachers with arith arithmetic, I think it's called. I don't know where you, I'll look into it, where you write stuff and it helps you remember better. These are the things you need to execute on. So let me go into it a little bit more. Let's go. So one thing you need to understand with all of them is this, okay? Again, those of you watching on the IG, I know you can't see this board properly. Jump onto the YouTube. Apologies for the YouTube people for me to say this a million times, but again, some of, some of your classmates have no common sense. My Ethereum pillow fell. Let's go. This is the thing you need to understand. Your ultimate goal, your ultimate goal as a trader is just to do one thing and that is to make money. That is your goal as a trader. Nothing more, nothing less is to make money. Not to get into, this is not on the board, but to say it here to you. Not to get into social media beef, not to worry about what traders making what, what traders buying what car, what traders buying what house, what are they posting, who are they going out with, what alcohol they're drinking. Your obsession with everyone else that does not concern you is messing you up as a trader. What don't you understand? Stay out of other people's businesses, other people's trades, other people's concerns. Your only concern is your, yours. Oh, but that trader made so much you're not going to be consistent. Oh, that trader didn't post this. You're not going to be consistent. Expert level traders worry about their trades. They're not worried about what every other Instagram trader is doing. 
I follow 10 people. And I tell you, I wish I could follow zero people. But I know I might offend the 10, so I don't want to unfollow them. I follow 10 people. I wish it was zero. None. I like all 10. When I say I don't want to follow them, I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm saying it's because what they like and engage with, it shows me because it says at the bottom. And there's times I don't want to see that. And I have majority of them muted. Majority, all of them except GP. He's hilarious. I love GP. His stuff is funny. And GP stuff doesn't affect me psychologically because GP posts more about real estate, dividends, long-term investing. Yes, he trades too, TQQ, all that stuff, but that doesn't affect me. That's not what I do. That's not what I do. Seeing his dividends does nothing to me. I don't do dividends. Everyone watching should do dividends. I think that's genius. He was on my live on Instagram talk, teaching the class about dividends. And the real estate stuff, I don't care. That's not my thing. I'm building a school. That doesn't affect me. And the other person, Sean Deckmar, love Sean Deckmar. Love um, the third one, Brad Lee, but he's not a trader. Love Sean Deckmar. He also shorts penny stocks, but his stuff doesn't bother me. When he had the Lambo, doesn't bother me. His Airbnb doesn't, that doesn't affect me psychologically because that's not what I want. I don't want the cars. I don't want the stuff he does. I love what he does. He's, he's hands down my favorite stock trader is Sean Deckmar. Everyone knows that. But my point being, I'm at a level where I don't care what they're doing. Do you see what I'm saying? They're, what they do doesn't affect me. Many of you watching these traders on social media are f fully mentally, physically, spiritually affected, especially those that post the cars, the watches, the alcohol, the girls, whatever they post. I have everybody muted. I don't want to see any of it. Any of it, I never want to see it because I know it's programming. It's literally programming and messing you up to become a better trader. What they do affects you. Believe it or not, subconsciously it does when these conversations come up. That's why if you go to my page, I love when people attack me and say, oh, this guy's always flexing. And I find that the funniest thing. I said, well, here's the flex. Go through my 900 plus videos on IG. Show me one flex. Like, show me where it is. I would love to know what your definition of it is. You will never see a single nice thing I own. Ever. Ever. My page is a library, biblioteca, a cornucopia of just information. Nothing more, nothing less. Why? Because I know how much of this affects you if I started posting my lifestyle. I remember when GP came to New York and he saw some of the things I own in my lifestyle. He goes, and if he's watching, or you can ask him, he goes, Professor, why aren't you posting this? This is amazing. I said, no, I'm good. To prove it to what? People, random people on the internet that I don't even know? Prove them what? No interest. You guys are living a life of proving it to people you don't even know, and that's embarrassing. What kind of mindset do you have? Like, how weak, of, weak are you as a human being, as a man or a woman, that you're busy trying to impress other people that don't know your existence, that don't care about your existence? It's the same people that you're trying to impress yourself to don't even like you. You don't even like yourself. Let's be realistic here. And this is not a tangent. Before someone says he's going on a tangent again, this is connected to this. This is connected to this. You are so busy trying to keep up with the Joneses, you're not caring about your own lawn. Your own lawn, your own property, your own house. The grass is greener on the other side because you're not taking care of your grass. You're not taking care of your grass. Of course it's going to die. What don't you understand? You are running out of time. The 2030 agenda is down the line. By the way, stop DMing my people again. I'm just telling you what you get blocked for. Some of your stupidity. There's something called Google. Oh, that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. See, I said, I, didn't want to, I don't want to talk like this anymore. Idiocracy? Idiocracy is nicer. What's the other word? Ignorance? Your idiocracy and your ignorant, ignorance. It's called Google or chat. No, don't do chat GPT. That's very controlled. Bias and stuff. Just Google what Agenda 2030, put that together. I'm not saying it's the year. Put that together and go read the papers and see what they talk about openly. You're running out of time. Either wake up and decide what you need to do or suffer the consequences of keep blowing account after account options, people. Wake up to the reality that you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Stop worrying about what others think and what others will say. That is none of your concern. One of the things that helped me get to the level I am in life, in every aspect of me, I'll tell you a story. 
photographic memory, third grade, science teacher, Mrs. Rashkover, photographic memory. I was always the type of person that didn't believe everything I heard. I questioned everything, even going back to the third grade. Remember it vividly. She was giving the lecture lesson on the water cycle. She goes, I'm going to put water in a cup, put a line, and leave it. And we come back tomorrow, the water's going to get down. I go, Ms. Rashkova, you a liar. You're just going to come and spill it when no one's in the room. She's like, no, that's not true. Again, it's the third version of the professor. Third, sorry, third version. Third grader version of the professor. I'm in front of the whole class saying, you're wrong, science teacher. Third grade, I don't know what age that is. I remember it. You're wrong, teacher. What are you talking about? That's impossible. Water can't just magically get less. Of course we know that's true. Water cycle. P praise God. I've never cared what anyone thinks. I will question everything and say what's on my mind. Because I could care. Why do I care what others think? Other people don't even like themselves. Majority of people don't even like themselves. Yet you're trying to impress people that don't like themselves. Of course they're not even going to like you. The only person you should try to impress is yourself and God. You should want to become best friends with God. And then you'll see what the possibilities are. To sum up the lesson, beginner versus expert trader. Beginner traders, high leverage, chill out. One share, five shares, ten shares. You have no control of your emotions. You see a little red, you get panicky. Signal chats. I don't know how much more I can preach about signal chats. There are possibly, by the way, before someone says, oh, but you just said you're going to make a signal chat. Never said that. Never said that. It'll be a, a group chat, a hundred people only, max a hundred. And people are like, oh, a thousand bucks a month, bro. That's for the mentorship. Non-mentorships, 1,500 if you're not a mentorship. And all it'll be will be a screen share of me actively live trading. Actively. And why that price? Because it'll bring the best of the best. Do you really think I want the... And by the way, you're not going to like what I'm about to say, but you know it's the truth. And shout out to all of you that always say, yo, I love how real you are. I appreciate that comment. That, mean, that means the world to me. When you really know that I'm telling you the truth and I'm real with you. Why the freak? If I did sell the service of watching me live trade, screen share, no one can talk, no one can chat, but you'll see exactly my entry, my exits, all of that. If I charged 50 bucks, you don't think you'll get the lowest of the lowest of society? But if I do a thousand for the mentorship, non-mentorship 1500, you don't think I'll get the ones that are serious? That when I log in to trade, they log in to trade? You don't think they're dead serious executing on what I'm saying? By the way, if you would join that, flood the chat. If you would join that to give me an idea. I've never done this before. It'll be very exclusive to 100 people only. And maybe after the first month, beta testing it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I was thinking of ideas, but I don't know. So before someone says it, yeah. There's a reason why my book costs what it does. My classes cost what it does. And my prices go up year to year. I don't want the lowest class of society. Those are the not serious people. Trading is easy. Simple. You just need to learn to hit sell. And when you have not burnt the ships, like the Spaniards did, you're not going to be consistent. Jumping from setup to setup, not knowing what to do, no trading journal, that's a beginner trader, an inconsistent trader. Expert level trader, maintains proper risk, knows when it's time to use leverage, accepts the loss, learns from it, it's inevitable, keep it small. Independent trader, be free from others. You will never know, if you become independent, you'll never know what others are doing because you're so focused frequency-wise on yourself. You're high-level frequency on yourself. You're not worried about low-class individuals. You know what to look for, and you use a trading journal. Focus on those things, and I promise you, the sky is the limit. Let's read a random chapter from the Quran. Let's see... Yeah, I like this. Okay. Um, Surah 29, chapter 29, verse 56 in the Quran. Oh, my believing servants, my earth is truly spacious, so worship me alone. This planet is massive. 
Your job is to travel and see everything God created, not be stuck in your hometowns for the rest of your life and die there. Trading gives you the ability to travel. And that's literally what I do. And I love it. That's one thing I actually enjoy doing is jumping places, places. Every soul will taste death. Then to us you will all re be returned. As for those who believe and do good, we will certainly house them in elevated mansions in paradise, under which river flows, to stay there forever. How excellent is the reward for those who work righteousness. Work righteousness. Do good. Just do your best. God just wants you to try your best. Ask Him for wisdom in trading so you can become good at it and He will provide you with the path to becoming strong when it hit, comes time to hit sell and not deviate off the path because that's what the devil's job is. Those who patiently endure and put their trust in the Lord, how many are the creatures, sorry, how many, yeah, I said it right, how many are the creatures that cannot secure their provisions? It is God who provides for them. And you as well. He is, he is indeed all hearing, all knowing. If you do good, He will provide for you. It's eventual. It's inevitable. What's written for you will be written for you and given to you and provided for you. Understand that. Stop rushing a process and think you can jump steps. There's only one shortcut. One shortcut. Find the person already doing it and execute it on it and you can understand what they're saying. That's why you got the free course. Start with the free course down there, Day Trade Professor. Then the book. Then get in front of my face. Then become a mentorship student. Execute on that. May peace be upon you all.